In the last video, we have seen the legacy mode of operations of GPIO pins of LPC2378. In this video, we'll be uh, seeing the enhanced mode or the fast mode of the GPIO pin. So again, remember, uh, there are five GPIO ports out of that, only port 0 and port 1, they support the legacy mode, but all five ports support the enhanced mode of operation. Now in enhanced mode, again, we have many registers, uh, especially we have something called a mass register in addition to the direction, pin, and set and clear registers. And you'll also notice the names of the registers, they are prefixed with F uh, compared to the legacy mode to indicate this is fast mode, this is enhanced mode. Okay. Otherwise, more or less, the idea is clear. In the address names, you can see there are five addresses for each register because we have five ports. So let's try it for one of the ports. Let's try it for uh, port zero itself. So as usual, first of all, you need to set the direction. I just want to write some data to port zero. So here, again, from our header file, uh, you can see we have FIO zero direction, FIO one direction, so on and so forth. So let's take FIO zero for port zero and make it an output and you can see FF. And let's try to write data FIFIFI. So we need to take the pin register and we can write 0x FIFIFIFI. And that's it. So let's compile and try to run. Now, when you are running under peripherals this time, we need to choose fast peripheral because we are using the enhanced mode. So port 0 in fast we have chosen. And if I run it, uh, you can see direction, he already configured direction and pin, you can see in the pin register, these values have already come, but these values are not reflecting in the physical pin. So this, this one, these represent the physical pin. Okay. So these values, they came to the register, but they are not coming to the pin. Okay. So keep in mind port zero and port one, they support both legacy and enhanced mode. So there should be some way in which microcontroller should know whether you are using the legacy mode or the enhanced mode. So you need to explicitly specify it so that he can use some multiplexes to choose uh, from which register the data should be sent to the pins. So here you can see I have added a line here. If P0 and P1 uses enhanced mode, should be first configured in SCS register. SCS stands for system control and status register. So if you look at the data sheet, this is our SCS register and you can see if bit zero there, uh, that is what is controlling this one. So if bit zero is zero and by default reset it is zero, uh, GPA port zero and one are accessed via APB addresses in a fashion compatible with previous version. Okay, so if it is zero, uh, this basically means port zero and port one, they'll be acting in legacy mode. If you want them to be in fast mode, uh, the bit of this register, SCS register, should be made to one. Okay, so if you again go to our header file, so this is of course not working. So let's go to our header file back and search for SCS. You can see it's already declared there. So bit zero of this register, we need to uh, make it one. So if you go directly write again 0x1, it will be making bit zero as one, but you don't want to modify other bits of this SCS register. Okay. Really, we don't know what other bits are doing. Since the system is working now, uh, fine. Uh, we hope like other bit settings are fine. So we just want to change bit zero of SES by preserving the other value. So the technique is same as what we discussed before. So whichever bit you want to change, you want to add that bit with zero and all other bits with one. So it will be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, E. So only the lower bit becomes zero for sure. Then I can or this entire thing with 0x1 or 0x0000001 zero, 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 uh, so that the lower bit becomes one and the other bits remains uh, as they are. Okay, so I changed it. So let's compile. So let's write a comment here. Uh, configure P, P0 and P1 in enhanced mode. So remember to do it if you are using P0 or P1. For other ports, yeah, you don't have to do anything because they support only enhanced mode. Okay, so let's go back to debug and start and run again. And this time you can see uh, the pins are getting F. Everything looks fine. So let's go to deep uh, peripheral and look at the slow interface also. 
since we are using port zero and you can see uh, here also for the pins you are getting the same value why because physically we have only one set of pins okay physically uh, outside the chip only there are 32 pins which are representing uh, gpio zero so it doesn't matter whether you are using enhanced mode or legacy mode on the pin of course same values are coming but if you notice other registers uh, they don't have any relation i set the direction high here for all bits but it is not reflecting this register here same way uh, the pin register here has nothing to do with the pin register here because physically these registers are separate okay? these registers are separate so of course you can assume what might be going on uh, based on the control bit in the SES register some multiplexer might be getting activated and if you are setting one and the multiplexer should be choosing this register value as the pin value and if the multiplexer is zero it should be choosing this register value as the pin value okay that's it uh, otherwise all other experiments uh, they are similar you can try uh, all those cases like reading from switches and writing to led they will be all behaving same way the difference is uh, when you actually implement it on a chip and if you measure the time uh, between reading a pin and writing to a pin and all it will be much faster in the enhanced mode because in this case all registers are sitting on the processor local bus so it will be faster compared to the legacy mode legacy registers they are following uh, apb addressing style uh, they will be emulating the older devices so that the code written for the older devices uh, they work in the new devices also uh, logically as well as in terms of timing okay same timing they are trying to simulate here now the other interesting thing uh, in enhanced mode is we have this extra register called the mask register okay this we do not have in the legacy mode uh, available only in the enhanced mode uh, using mask register you can mask uh, your bits in a port for example previous case you have seen like if you want to modify only lower uh, say eight bits and if you don't want to modify the upper one you can of course use the set register otherwise you will have to read from the port and it and or it and write back okay but using mask one we can easily do it okay for example uh, let me set the mask register here let me make it still output and uh, let's bring our mask also here if i use zero mask and I'm saying like it is uh, FFFF0000. Okay. So you are basically masking wherever there is one we call that is the mask. We are masking the upper 16 bits and we are not putting any mask on the lower 16 bits. So what happens is uh, after you set the mask, if you write to any other register, okay, uh, for the upper bits, wherever you have kept the mask, those bits won't change. So the upper 16 bits of the pin register won't change only the lower 16 will change that is supposed to happen so let's try it so if i try this this fi fi should not get updated in my pin register since they are masked but this fi fi it should get returned so let's try it out again compile again okay so let's run step by step this time pin one okay now the mask got set and you can see uh, the upper 16 they were zero before i wrote to the pin register and they remain zero because of this mask and only the lower ones got modified i suppose the mask was set before the direction let's see whether it has any effect on the direction register let me get so let me keep it here and when we run it direction is already all zero but when i run it okay uh, directions they got the value whatever i wrote here so the mask is actually not affecting the direction register but it is definitely affecting the pin register now we have seen the effect when we are writing to pin let's see what is the effect of mask when we are reading it so to see it what i can do is okay one of the ports i can configure as input one of the ports i can configure as output and i can put a mask on the input and try to read the values which are coming on the input okay so okay so let's make fio zero 
as our input so let's make this zero doesn't matter where you put the mask okay let's first set the direction to zero then keep the mask and i will keep fio1 port 1 as the output and there i am not setting uh, any mask what i will try to do is in a while loop like we did last time i will keep on reading from my input port and assign it to the output so i can say like fio one pin equal to fio zero pin okay so i keep on reading from port zero and writing to port one but on port zero i have a mask fffff zero 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 okay so let's run it so we need both of them fast interface port one okay let's run it so you can see mask is set here now let me try to change from gpa to zero so when i'm changing it here you can see immediately it is changing here also and remember there is no mask on the lower 16 bit on port zero so looks fine but when i change the upper 16 you can see that it's not reflecting here okay so the mask has effect during reading also so if you have a mask on a port and if you try to read uh, from a pin where there is a mask it will always return zero that's what is happening here because there is a mask here doesn't matter what is the value coming on the pin here it will always get zero for this upper 16 that's why you are always seeing zero here but the lower one since there is no mask whatever value comes on the pin will be getting when you read it and that is what is coming here so keep this also in mind how mask affects in writing and how mask affects in reading and how mask doesn't affect direction so this is the main feature of enhanced mode in addition to that there are more flexibility when you are using enhancement this set and clear okay i'm not showing you you can try it out uh, the mask uh, has effect on set and clear also okay so if you have a mask and if you try to set something nothing nothing will happen it will return the previous value same for clear if you have a mask and if you ask to clear those bits if, if they are already one uh, there won't be any effect of clearing because uh, mask won't let you clear them. otherwise uh, we have more flexibility in enhanced mode okay so in our legacy mode whenever you are accessing pin registers or direction register set clear register you are always accessing 32 bits at one shot but in enhanced mode you have the option to access them 32 at a time 16 at a time we call it like half word 32 is one word half word or eight at a time that means uh, byte level okay so that's a good feature for example uh, here you can see it's written fio x dir zero so this x should be replaced by the port number so if i say fio zero dir zero uh, you can write to this register to set the direction of the lower eight bits if you write to fio zero dir one it will set the direction of the next 8 bit that means bit number 8 to 15 if you write fio 0 dir 2 it will set for the next 8 bits that is 16 to 23 then fio 0 dir 3 the uppermost 8 bits which is 24 to 31 okay so that uh, feature is here so let's try it out again so here again if i simply write uh, this x should be replaced by the port number as I mentioned so if I write fir 0 dir 0 equal to 0 x ff okay so remember once you have dir 0 like this it's only 8 bit if you compile and uh, run it you can see the direction of only the lower 8 bits they got changed and if I have one here, it changes the next eight bits. 
8 to 15 okay so 2 will change this one 3 will change this one so if you ask like uh, you can do the same thing simply using FIO DAR also right you can write like uh, uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, FF, 0, 0, same thing will happen. Of course, it will happen. Again, the advantage is uh, compared to 32 bit access. Uh, suppose you have already set some direction before, and now you want to modify only one byte from that. Uh, if you have only 32 bit access, like we did before, you will have to read from the register and it with the corresponding mask. But also, that's a kind of mask, although we are using 0 is 0 as the mask then you have to or it uh, with this particular uh, sequence that you need and you need to write it back okay so of course you can do it but it will be taking more number of instruction it will be taking more time to do it so this one will enable you to do it uh, more easily that's the main advantage same for not only direction every register you will be able to access like that so we have uh, FIO X DAR after that, we have uh, FIO X set. See, you can set uh, selectively the bits of lower byte, then next upper byte, the next upper byte, and uppermost byte. Same for clear also you have, same way. For pin also, you can do the same thing. You can modify only lower byte, next byte, next byte, so on and so forth. And even mask, you can selectively set like this okay instead of setting a mask for all 32 bits in one shot you can set a mask for the lower byte the next byte and next byte again these are some additional features uh, you could have done it using whatever is already available in legacy mode but this gives more flexibility now in addition to byte level uh, as i mentioned there is half word also 16 bits also you can change for that you have to use fio x uh, whatever you want register name if it is pin register pin l means it will modify the lower 16 bit u means it will modify the upper 16 bit so here itself if i do uh, direction l now it becomes 16 okay so if i have ff and if i run it you can see lower 16 got uh, modified but upper 16 they didn't change now if i use u here it will modify the upper half word but will not touch the lower one okay so always remember whenever you have this half word or one byte access other bytes other bits they won't get modified they will return the previous value don't think like they will become zero Okay, so the thing is, if they were 1, they will remain 1. If they were 0, they will remain 0. So let me just quickly show it, even in case of direction. So if it was like FIO 0 DAR is 0 X FFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFF